Okay, everybody. So we've taken uh, we've taken shot two as far as we can. So we're going to jump to shot four and apply those same techniques. But you're going to see that there's going to be some other challenges that we're going to run into uh, that that shot two did not have, even though it's the same type of shot. So I've got Jeff A. Check open. Let's go ahead and drag the footage in here and take a look at it. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, and I'm also going to hit F. And I'm going to the uh, I'm going to drag this little time slider thing all the way down to the end so that we, it doesn't stop playing there same basic shot you can see the cameras kind of moved a little bit to the right because he's already blocking uh, some of where we're gonna put the mural and if we play through they immediately start walking right so still a simple shot I think however tracking is gonna be a little bit challenging because it's a handheld shot we still need to do the four corner pin to get that perspective correct uh, but they are walking through right where we want to track. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have to move the track. We're going to track the same thing. We're going to track some vines over here and we're going to track this air conditioning unit. But once they cross over them, we're going to have to shift where it's tracking. We're going to leave the actual transformation center point right where it's supposed to be up here. But we're going to move the actual search pattern somewhere else. Um, so I'm going to go to the end here where it's visible again. We know we know right right here where his ear co comes over that we're going to have to switch it somewhere else. Something that kind of moves in the same plane. And I think these bushes are kind of going to be uh, going to be what we want. Um, and then so if I go to the last frame, like right here, we're going to be able to move it back. So something that's still here visible is like this bush and this bush but I think this bush is moving a lot right yeah that bush is moving around a lot so we don't want to track this bush these little strands here this bush here though looks like it's it's pretty stable throughout the shot or at least while this is covered the air conditioning unit so if we go to here we can see we've got some shadowy sections right because right around here we're gonna move it back right around frame 34 we're gonna move it back here uh, but there's these shadowy sections in this bush that I think are going to work nicely. Um, so we can we can uh, shift the tracker down to there, let it track down here for a little bit, and then we will shift it back and let it continue forward. And when she comes to it, again, we will shift down to these little shadowy elements, track, 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 and then she clears it, move it back, and we can track throughout the rest of the shot. And then we're going to do the same thing over here on these these vines. Uh, I think last time we tr we tracked these vines here, um, but I think I think maybe we'll start somewhere around in here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we should maybe we should track here again, and then just pick something else. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll start here. Track forward, right here. We'll shift down maybe to this bush here. It looks like it's pretty uh, pretty stable. Uh, it's kind of uh, her shoulder. Hmm. We may have to move back here and track something back there. We'll figure it out. Uh, it's not going to be too hard uh, between this wall being clear and this bush down here that looks like it's pretty stable. Nothing in this area is moving through here. It does move at the end a little bit. See that breeze kicks up? We don't want to be tracking it there, obviously. But up here in the front seems pretty stable so we're gonna take our chances and and track that and that should be good for uh for what we track and then up here we'll track the same two things we tracked last time we'll track that light and we'll track some vines over here and we shall be good to go uh, and then we'll paint out this window and then we will go ahead to the next video where we'll take a look at more stuff so let's go ahead uh, I'm gonna close this jump over into Natron and bring in the footage Ooh, it already connected to the uh, viewer, which was kind of nice. I guess I just dragged it in the right spot. If yours didn't, select that and just hit one. And you can see it shifted our work frame, frame range uh, to 439 to 620 because that was the numbering. Uh, I took this this uh, when I was editing this clip together. Uh, these are the frames that I used from an, a longer clip. Uh, an edited clip and I never changed it I just rendered these out with these frame ranges and that's what it is so I'm gonna leave it uh, you could do starting time and set it to one and it'll jump all the way down to one but 
Uh, I'm just going to leave it where it is, but I am going to, I'm going to hover over here and hit S to bring up my project settings. And you can see there, there's our frame range. And I'm going to hit lock range so that doesn't change. Uh, and back in here, you can see we have no time slider. That's because our time slider is all the way back on frame one. So if you just click in here or click that, you will, uh, you will jump in. You'll bring your time slider up here and everything will be great. So let's go ahead and start tracking. We're going to start up here. Uh, I'm going to turn on this again. I like having this thing on uh, so that it draws the whole frame every time and I don't have to wait for any kind of refreshing or anything. Make sure you're on that first frame, which is 439. And let's put in a tracker node by hitting tab and start typing track. Uh, you can see it's right there. I'm going to hit enter. It gives us a tracker node. Plug it in. And I'm going to zoom in on this light. I'm going to hold down control alt and click. Uh, don't do that. Uh, I've tried to reposition it a little bit and it kind of started moving the, uh, the pattern frame. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to delete it. Hold down control alt and click where I want that. And then I'm going to click to make this a little bit bigger. And I think that's probably fine. And uh, we'll just track forward. Hopefully that zips through it. Uh, it's not zipping through. It's loading it into RAM as we go. Uh, you'll see once it's loaded into RAM, the next track will go much faster. Uh, hopefully anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's not, the, uh, it's not really the track that's taking the time, I believe. I believe it's the loading up the frames into cache but we shall see but it looks like it's sticking on pretty good which is great it should stop here at 620 and it stops and our f that looks great good enough i think and let's jump over to here and let's take a look and see uh looks like we can just track something right in here and hopefully those those greens and blues will be good enough we could even track something down here let's do that let's go here and track i'm going to hold down control alt click and I'm going to make this a bit bigger and drag it right there and I'm also going to uh, I believe this is it right to create nope 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 which one is it this one center viewer click that and your view this will stay uh, your view will stay locked uh, with this in the center now I'm going to track backwards oh what's it doing auto saving or something is it auto saving must be right oh come on something I don't know I don't know what it's doing. I don't know if this is a Natron. I, I'm pretty sure this is a Natron thing because uh, uh, no other program does this, like locks up like this a little bit. Uh, okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to uh, track backwards. And that should just breeze through it. And it did. And it looks great. Oh, look at that. It stopped at uh, stopped a few frames early, which is interesting. Did it? Yeah, it did, huh? It stopped. Um, interesting. Oh, because his head gets in the way. Look at that, huh? It's smarter than I am. Um, so let's let's uh, let's just delete that. Actually, uh, just hit delete. Delete that guy, and let's start here and pick something that his head does not get in the way of like, uh, like these things and you're not really supposed to track um, is it locking up again on me are you kidding I don't know what it's doing um, you're not really supposed to track uh, specular highlights because they move obviously in relation to uh, the camera but I think in this case we'll be alright uh, I'm just gonna track that forward and it should breeze through it and it looks great Oh, it stopped there. What's it going on? Oh, yeah. See, they're moving. All right. So let's not track that either. Good lesson for tracking, huh? Um, let's just track this stuff up here. This, these darks and greens and blues. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just to get a bit more in there. And this should track no problem, right? Come on, baby. Thank you. Finally. Uh, again, I can, you can label these if you'd like. Um, track 2 is going to be the upper left. And this one's going to be uh, whoop, upper right. And now we've got to track those tricky ones, right? Uh, let's do this air conditioning unit first. Let's go back here. 
and we we talked about uh, when we were reviewing the footage, we talked about uh, we're going to track this, and at some point we're going to jump down here to these shadowy sections of this bush. So let's go ahead and do that. Control Alt, click there, and we've got our tracker. Make it a little bit bigger, and let's go ahead and track forward. And with any luck, it will stop uh, automatically right where his ear comes over which it does great so that's our last frame there now on this frame we're gonna move it but we want this main center point to stay there so what you're gonna do is hold down control hold down control and click in here and drag and you'll see that there is a line created this line right so the track is still up here even though the search pattern is down here now uh, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to go frame by frame on this one uh, just until he gets past it. And you can see as I'm doing this that the track path is still being added to up here, even though we're tracking down here. And that's what the uh, that's what that control does. It's it's basically it's called offset offset X and Y. You can see it over here. You can see we've changed that value. Um, and that's what that's doing. It's offset tracking. So right there we can actually move it back. Right. Um, but we're not going to move it back manually because we'll never get it in the same spot. But we can click right here and just hit zero. And I'll click on this one and hit zero, enter, and it jumps right back to the original spot. And we can track forward again. And hopefully it stops when her, frame, her head hits it, which it does. 485. So 485, we're going to jump back here down to these shadowy sections again. Same thing, hold down control. Click on that center thing and just drag down here to these this little shadowy area. And let's click through frame by frame until she's past it. Uh-oh, we might have an issue. There we go. And right there, I'm going to hit uh, 0 and Z. Come on, click there. 0. And see what I'm seeing here is this. See that little jump? That could be a problem. That might that might mean that uh, something messed up here. So let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, I think something messed up. All right? Yeah, see that jump? Oh, you know what, though? That's weird that it jumps right there. Um, so right there, actually. Let's go ahead and clear, because uh, it's before that jump, right? We're, we're right before that jump. Uh, I'm just going to clear forward, clear forward animation. That should clear everything out of there except for one of those keyframes, uh, which you can jump to that keyframe and there should be a delete keyframe button, right? Remove pattern key. Click that, gets rid of it. Go back here and clear forward again. And now it clears all that forward movement. So now we can, I'm going to click a pattern here, right? And it adds a new uh, a new match pattern on frame 472 uh, which hopefully should work a little bit better right so let's go track forward again and we stop there again because her head hits it and you can see this time we don't have any kind of weird little jump in our track so we fix that um, so right here frame 485 again is our last uh, our last good frame there so we're going to control drag go down to the bush again pick that dark section there and then just inch through frame by frame with the the track one frame button and just wait till she gets through there and there we go and now we can hit um, hopefully this works right zero and zero I don't know why I would have messed up last time um, um, just to be safe I'll hit uh, oh what was that that was strange um, I'm gonna create a pattern key there and track forward and hopefully it is a great track it looks good right so now when we scroll through here you can see it stays right where it needs to while their heads pass over it isn't that great so that's some intermediate tracking there for you uh, let's see we'll call this lower right enter and now we've got to do the same thing over here so let's let's do this one backwards. Let's go to the end here, and I'm just gonna click a spot right there, perhaps. 
and let's track backwards. And it stops there. Oh, it's still going. All right. Stops there, perhaps. Is it still running or is it done? Or did it lock up on me again? What is it doing? No idea. No idea. Um, come on. Come on back. Maybe we'll do the painting out of the window in the, uh, in the next video as well. All right. There we go. There we go. So let's see. Where were... What happened here? Okay. So the pole is getting in the way here. So this is our last good one. So uh, I'm actually going to just move it over to here. I'm going to hold down control right here and move it over to here and just track a few backwards until she gets to that pole again uh, and now we're gonna move down to this bush just kinda moving it all over the place right uh, right there maybe and let's go backwards over there our track path is looking great and I just want it to get there we go and now we can um, we can actually Hit zero here again and reset our offset. Hit zero here, offset, and I'm going to set a pattern key and continue tracking backwards because his head is going to hit it now in a second. There we go. Let's see. Check that out. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, we've only got a few more to go here. Let's um, let's control drag it over to here. And go back a few. There we go. And now we can control drag down here to this bush for the last bits. Oh no, I'm sorry. Actually, are we at the uh, we're at the first frame? Oh great, we made it. Actually, just tracking the wall. Spectacular. Um. Huh. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and reset this to zero and reset this to zero. Call this uh, lower left. And if we scroll through, it should stay right there on the wall. It looks great, right? So there we go. We've done all the tracking. Uh, and we've got, uh, you know, we've, they've passed over it, but we've still gotten our, we've still got our corner pin track. So let's call this, uh, wall track. And let's go ahead, uh, make sure you're on that first frame. I don't know why I just have it. Uh, I don't know if it really makes a difference or not. Go ahead into the transform tab, uh, leave it on corner pin and hit match move reference frame set to current frame. And uh, I'm going to turn off link and I'm going to click export and that gives us a corner pin that matches that wonderfully um, so there we go so that's the uh, that's the tracking for this one I'm going to stop here we'll go into the next uh, save your project don't forget to save um, we're going to go into the next video and uh, we're going to paint out that window uh, bring in the mural uh, match make sure that the uh, placement is matched um, and then we're going to take a look at uh, at the luma mat again and uh, and discuss getting everything in the frame that needs to be in front of the uh, mural uh, we're going to work on getting those back in front so uh, hope all this made sense and uh, i will see you in the next one